Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how can you extend VLANs or IP in FortiGate by using a VXLAN you can do this. You can see my topology in this picture. I have a two firewall that connects to each other. These connections can be through layer 2 switch or layer 3 router or also IPsec tunnels. No matter which connection type you are using. Because by using a VXLAN technology, your Ethernet frames encapsulate and send to other side via IP packet and then decapsulate. I have two trunk port, port number 2 on both firewall that connect to layer 2 switch and carry VLAN 3500 and 3600 traffic. You can see the IP numbers in this picture. I use 10.10.10.141 and 10.10.10.142. To manage firewalls and also our VXLAN tunnels will be building up over these IPs. Okay, let's start the configuration. Start the configuration on 141. At the first, we have to create a VXLAN interface. You cannot do this from the graphic user interface. So open the console, write config system VXLAN and press enter. Write edit VXLAN 3500. You can use any name for your interface name. Write set NVI 3500. This command is used to tell this tunnel carries which VLAN. Write set port, sorry, set interface port 1. That means initiate my VXLAN tunnel from this interface. It can be physical or IPsec tunnel. Write set remote dash IP 10.10.10.142. This command sets the tunnel destination IP address, another mean other point of our VXLAN tunnel. Ok, end. As you can see on the interface, under port 1, I can see VXLAN interfaces and the type is VXLAN. Let's create a VLAN on port 2 to carry our VLAN traffic to the layer 2 switch, as I have already shown on the topology. Give the name, set the interface, enter 3500 as a VLAN ID and click OK. As you can see, I have a VLAN interface and VXLAN interface and both of them are set to VLAN 3500. Now I need to create a software switch and assign this interface to it. Select software switch, give the name. Select VLAN and VXLAN as a member. Give an IP to this interface. You can skip that, but at this time I give an IP address to test my VXLAN configuration. Ok, our subface switch on this firewall was created and it has an IP address. Now I have to config another firewall.
create VXLAN on this firewall. Write edit VXLAN 3500. Hmm, what's the problem? Oh, I put the space in the name. Names can be different on the firewalls, but I use the same name on both ends. Set VNI. Set interface. Then set the remote IP that point to another end of my tunnel. It's reverse from the first firewall. Ok, VXLAN interface created. Now create a VLAN on port 2. Set the VLAN ID. That's ok. Same as the earlier configuration, I create a software switch and assign IP address to it. Again, the name can be different, but I use the same name on both ends. Set the members. Give the IP address. As you can see in this topology, this site IP address is 192.192.35.142. Okay. As you can see, surface switch created. Now I'm going to test my VXLAN tunnel. Write execute ping 192.192.35.141. As you can see, this IP is located on another side of our tunnel. Ok, our tunnel configuration is correct and we can ping IP from VLAN 3500 from another side of our tunnel. With this diagnostic command, you can see the MAC address that are learned from another end of the tunnel for a specific VXLAN interface. As you can see, this MAC address is our port 2 interface on another end of the tunnel. I copy this command to execute on another firewall to see the result. Now create another VXLAN interface to carry VLAN 3600 traffic.
right set NVI 2600. Configuration is the same as VXLAN 2500 but VNI is a different. VXLAN 3600 created. Now create a VLAN interface on port 2. Set VLAN ID to 3600. OK. Again, create another software switch and assign VXLAN and VLAN interfaces as a member to it. Give a name. Select members. Give an IP address. As you can see in the topology, this VLAN subnet is 192.192.36. OK. Software switch created. As you can see, without config VXLAN on both firewall, I cannot ping VLAN 3600 IP address. Create VXLAN 3600 on this firewall. Set VNI. Set remote IP to another side of the tunnel. And try to ping. It's failed because I don't create surface switch and assign VXLAN and VLAN as a member. Create VLAN 3600. Set VLAN ID. OK. Now create a software switch. Assign VXLAN and VLAN to it. Give an IP address based on our topology. I have two software switch now and VXLAN and VLAN interfaces assigned to them. Now test IP address from VLAN 3600. That's it. Also you can see the MAC addresses learned on this VLAN from another end of the tunnel.
By using this method, you can extend your layer 2 networks between different locations over the WAN links. It's used for any purpose that depends on you. For each VLAN, you have to create a different VXLAN interface and software switch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and watch other videos. Have a good day. Bye bye.